Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation involving roots? We have 4 root of x plus 6 root of x equals to 12. And we want to find the value of x such that x is a member of real number. So here, yeah, let's write this as x raised to power 1 over 4 on the law of indices. Then plus here, yeah, same thing as x raised to power 1 over 6, then equals to 12 from here. Then when we look at the fraction in the power, we can see that the LCM of 4 and 6 from there is equals to 12. So we have the LCM there to be 12. Then we can represent, you know, x with a letter raised to power 12 now. So let's x be equals to y raised to power 12. Then from here, we can write this and this will become y raised to power 12. Then raised to power 1 over 4. Plus, also from here, y raised to power 12. Then raised to power 1 over 6. Which is equals to 12 from here. Then in the next step, we apply the laws of indices here. And from here, this power multiplies. Then we have 4 year 1, 4 year 3. Then 6 year 1. 6 here 2 so we have y raised to power 3 left here then plus here y square which is equal to 12 then when we take 12 to this side we have y raised to power 3 plus y square minus 12 we then be equal to 0 from here then we can uh, get one of the factors of this polynomial by getting one of the roots the factors of 12 here we have 1 2 3 4 6 then 12 then let's you know start from 1 if y equals to 1 from here so this equation becomes 1 key plus 1 square minus 12 this of course is not equal to zero so one from here will not be a root then what about two so y equals to two when we substitute two here we have two cube plus two square minus twelve two cube is eight so we have and two square is four eight plus four that's twelve twelve minus twelve of course this is there zero now y equals to 2 that means 2 is a root then y minus 2 will be a factor then to get the other factor we can divide using synthetic division so we use 2 to divide the polynomial from here when we divide by synthetic we have 2 here then the coefficient of this polynomial we have coefficient of this is 1 the coefficient of the power of 2 is also 1. Now, there is a term that's been, that's been omitted here. That is, you know, it should be y raised to power 3, y raised to power 2. There is one that is omitted, which is y raised to power 1. So, it is not there. That means the coefficient there is 0. Then the constant minus 12. So, from here, when we divide, it means we drop this, you know, 1. Then 1 we multiply, 2 we multiply 1, we write it there, that's 2. Then 1 plus 2, that's 3. 2 we multiply 3 as well, that's 6. Then we add this, 0 plus 6, that's 6. Then 2 we multiply 6, that's 12. Then minus 12 plus 12, that's 0. So it confirms that 2 is actually a root and a y minus 2 is now a factor so we have y minus 2 to be a factor the other contractive factor has this coefficient of 1 3 and 6 and that will be y square plus 3y plus 6 which is equal to 0 so from here we have 
this we give us back our polynomial then the, the two cases here we have y minus 2 equals to 0 or we have y square plus 3y plus 6 equals to 0 then from here on the on this side we have y to be equals to 2 from here then from here let's check if this we are going to have a resolution from here using the discriminant b square minus 4ac here a is 1 b is 3 then c is 6 so b square that's 3 square minus 4a that's 4 times 1 times 6 of course 3 square there is 9 so we have 9 minus here 24 of course this is equal to minus 15 which is less than 0 so now from here we can say that there is no resolution from here on this side there won't be any resolution then on this side now don't forget that we represented the we said is equals to y raised to power 12 from here we have x is represented as y to the power of 12 then when we bring that here so we can say from here x is equals to y raised to power 12 then y is 2 that means x now will be equal to 2 raised to power 12 then from here 2 raised to power 12 is same thing as 2 raised to power 10 times 2 raised to power 2 so we can say x now equals to 2 raised to power 10 times 2 raised to power 2 from the law of indices then 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 then 2 raised to power 2 is 4 so we multiply so that means this times 4 now and then when we multiply from here this gives us 16 that's 6 you carry 1 here 8 plus 1 that's 9 then 0 then 4 so here we have the value of x to be equal to 4096 from here which is same thing as 2 raised to power 12 then from what we have we can quickly check if this actually satisfy the given problem we have 4 truth of x plus 6 truth of x equals to 12 now we got x to be 2 raised to power 12 let's put it there and see so we have 4 truth of 2 raised to power 12 now plus 6 truth of 2 raised to power 12 is this equal to 12 then when we apply the law of indices from here we can say this is 2 raised to power 12 then raised to power 1 over 4 plus 2 raised to power 12 raised to power 1 over 6 is this equal to 12 then from here this year 4 this year you have 3 then this year 1 this year 2 so we have 2 raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 2 is this equal to 12 so here we have 8 plus 4 which is is equal to 12 from here then 8 plus 4 of course this is 12 which is equal to 12 so the left hand side equals to the right hand side from here and uh, of course we can then conclude that x here on this problem is 2 to the power of 12 which we can also write as 4096 so here we have the solution to the problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section thank you see you in the next class and bye for now